One of the topics that I like the most and have always gravitated towards is the idea of leveraging. Because as Bill Gates says, when you have something you want to get done, take a lazy person who's really smart because that person will find a way to do it with the least amount of effort possible and usually either improve the current way or invent a completely new way to do it that is faster. And uh, that's definitely been my experience with uh, everything I did in my life. And this leads me to the idea of your core actions, the things that are at the core of what moves your life up or down. And in everybody's life, there are a number of things that, you know, maybe you haven't found them yet, but they're there. Uh, a number of things that, actions that when you do, have the greatest effect on pulling your life up, as well as the greatest effect on pulling your life down. And the sooner you identify these, the better and more simple your life will become. Because imagine if you had uh, in your bank account, you had a bank account and there were buttons, like a thousand buttons that you could press. And some buttons, they added a bit of money, some buttons added more, some buttons uh, took away money. So, and, uh, sorry, I'm a bit, uh, my nose is a bit ruddy. Um, so every action, every button did something different. But there were a couple of buttons, like four or five buttons, that if you clicked on them, you would get like a ton of money, like more than almost pretty much as much as all the other buttons combined. And imagine there were other buttons that if you clicked on them, you would lose just about as much money as by pressing all the negative buttons combined. When you do, you just produce a gigantic difference in your life. So for me, uh, the positive activities are coaching, recording videos, and working out. And I'm sure there's a couple more that I may have forgotten relating to kind of like family and relationships. But in here, I'm focusing on kind of like improving yourself, your body, your finances, kind of like a hardcore <laughs> improvement. So these three are for, for me are like enormous because I've been through many periods of life that were better financially, worse financially. But there was one consistent thing that I noticed that whenever I would coach people, amazing things would start happening. Like I would feel better, op new opportunities would come up, lucky coincidences would happen. I, I could pretty much guarantee it that if I coached a lot of people on that specific month, that means that a ton of good things are going to happen. I'm going to make a lot of money. I'm going to get a lot of support from people. I'm going to grow as a person. So really good stuff happen when I coach people. Also, the videos. When I make a lot of videos, I notice that that is a pretty consistent way to get coaching clients. So that is directly leading to the coaching thing. And working out also. When I work out consistently, I have a lot of energy. I sleep better. I'm a much stronger physically. I look great. And it, I don't know why. It just it, it drives me and it gives me like an amazing, amazing feeling. And I think it's not a coincidence that rich people work out on average, I think like three, four times a week. So there's that. And now there's like, there's the negative habits. So in terms of negative, sorry, negative core actions. So in terms of negative core actions, the things that I learned to truly avoid are things like watching porn. I noticed that that really fucks up my excitement for life. So it makes me kind of groggy and I'm not as focused as sh and sharp as I am when I'm not watching porn. So that is a big one for me. And I recommend you check out a bunch of articles related to, it's called Your Brain on Porn. Like 
specifically the effect that it has on dopamine, which is the part of your brain that makes you go after things, you know, the part of your brain, of your brain that makes you want to want stuff, whether it's women or money or <laughs> anything, basically. And uh, it's, it, dopamine is really, it's, it's that important that things like Parkinson's, if you ever heard of it, Parkinson's is a lack of dopamine. <laughs> it's uh, literally not enough dopamine in the brain, which uh, makes you unable to move. So it's it's that connected to us physically, the whole dopamine dopamine thing. So overloading it with porn makes you desensitized to regular forms of dopamine. It's kind of like using cocaine, and then you don't want to do anything. Second thing that I avoid because, again, it has really bad destructive consequences, is weed. I'm not saying weed is bad for everyone all the time, but for me, it's really, really bad. Like, when I use weed, I, again, I just use it. I get addicted to it. I use it every day. I, I, I lose motivation to, to do anything. It makes me, anything that makes me sloth kind of like become a sloth and not want to do anything and not focused is really bad the third one is lack of sleep anytime i sleep less than five hours even less than six really bad like the i get emotionally very unstable i tend to get very depressed. I get very kind of like melancholic and nihilistic and I don't want to do anything. So, oh, that and finally there's eating junk food and anything that's unhealthy, you know, to, to some extent, but anything that's like officially like this is not a healthy thing to eat that, you know, is kind of like junk, really bad. <laughs> So I'm 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 uh, very blessed because I know these things about me. So I've figured out what makes me makes my life go up and what makes my life go down. And lots of these are smaller. So for example, when I do really nice things for my girlfriend that actually has a for some re weird reason, it has an amazing effect on the rest of my life. So by uh, thinking out of the box, being creative, and really giving myself to her and helping her, and, you know, being there for her, I become much less self-conscious, and I tend to do much better in things like coaching. So it's all connected, obviously, and by now if you're 20 at least, you should have at minimum two or three positive things that you know make your life much, much better and two or three things that make your, make your life much, much worse. And if you don't know them yet, if you don't know like the few things that when you do them, everything goes up, you know, it might be football, it might be meditation, might be lifting weights. It might be going to nature. It might be taking trips. Everyone has their thing that they just, when they do it, like everything goes up, way up, and starts cascading up. If you don't know these, it means you haven't experimented enough and you don't have enough, either you don't have the right data at all, you don't have enough data, or you just don't have enough to find a pattern. So for me, it's like I've been through good stuff, good good periods and I was always coaching involved and then I've been through bad periods and it wasn't involved. So it's very it was very easy to draw a correlation. Same with making videos, same with working out. And again, there's a bunch more, but these are like the three main things that I wanted to point out. So start experimenting. Start trying new things. Again, go uh, wherever your heart tells you, go uh, try working out, try traveling, try uh, talking in a specific way, try making calls to a lot of people, 
try hanging out with a lot of people, try not hanging out with anyone, see like certain environments or certain actions that just make you shoot up or or look back and find the ones that make you shoot down. Like, you know, I have so many friends and coaching clients that I worked with that they had like one or two habits, like something small that they they just knew that was bad, but they kept doing it. And it's only when we focused on it and it's like, when you do that, <laughs> like you're basically dooming yourself, condemning yourself to having a horrible day <laughs> and bad things happen. So, but, but, but sometimes you, sometimes you need that person, you need that coach or that person to tell you like, Hey, let's cut it off. And usually if it's a friend or a family member or a partner, they'll tell you that they might not provide, tell you how, but they'll give you like an ultimatum, like you have to do it. So the necessity will make you do it. And if it's a good coach, he won't have as much necessity with you because obviously you don't owe him anything, but he'll be really good at showing you the way to do it effectively. So start removing these habits. And if it's interesting to you to how to actually surgically remove bad habits or how to make sure you maintain good habits, then let me know and I'll be happy to make a video about that too. So I hope this helps and let me know what you think. Talk soon.